The Buckeyes kick off their 125th season of college football. Hello, I'm Mark Coots. Welcome to a Buckeye Insider. And early on, there is no doubt Chris Ash is in charge of the defense as the new defensive coordinator was leading the Buckeyes in some new drills during a stretching. After the first practice for the veterans, Urban Meyer addressed the media. We split practice today. Uh, one of the better, I mean, this is early evaluation, but really good, uh, really impressed with their freshman class. Um, one thing, just the body types of Dante Booker, Kyle Berger, Sam Hubbard, um, all the way to um, uh, the long receivers like Noah Brown and, and uh, uh, Paris Campbell, just long athletes. And then you got Marshawn and Eric Smith, so our special teams, we're going to try to get those guys ready to play. Um, but uh, really good, really good first day with the young guys, old guys. Um, it just was a hot one. We went no huddle, so uh, it was a good day. So I'll answer any questions for you. We'll open it up. Front row, Todd. What was your first message to the team as you guys prepared to take the field out there this afternoon? It was essentially one of forget about last year. Was there any sort of lingering effects, or is that just sort of to, to set the, the tone for the first day of camp? I think you the another one was 46 and 8 to be. Yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm sorry if you missed out. I didn't ever say anything about last year. I mean, that, that's been long gone for a long time. That will. I make the comment, you know, is there a chip on your shoulder and do this? We always, I always take notes throughout the year, and if we have to utilize motivation, I've said this before, it's probably not a very good team. We'll use it, uh, but it's you're looking at a bad team probably. So we're not, you know, net last year I think is, is in everybody's mind. I don't mind it being there, but we just got to get better and work, work out. And so I think those are all good storylines. If we do have to use stuff to motivate a team, I've, we've had to. That's a bad team usually. Front row, Bill. Yeah, could you, uh, uh, Tracy, Tracy Sprinkle was reinstated today. Could you talk about that process where you might fit in and also Tommy Brown is leaving? Yeah, Tommy Brown uh, for uh, uh, playing time. You know, he just wanted to go play. Tom's a good kid. Um, Tracy Sprinkle, uh, he was dismissed because of uh, an arrest, and then the, some bad words were involved in that, like cocaine or something like that, and, and it was all dropped. And he was drug tested with the hair thing, which goes back six months. And if anything would have showed up, he's dismissed. Certainly anything like that. And it was all, and I was shocked because I've known Sprinkle for two, three years now. So uh, he's been reinstated. When that was all drug things or there's nothing, I wanted to make sure before I did that. And uh, we did our own research. And um, so he's going to have to pay for, he lost his scholarship in the summer, so he's got to pay for a scholarship. He's going to be spending the first game. He's got uh, every week community service and a multitude of other things to take care of business before he'll ever see the field. Where's he got to fit in? I don't know. He, you know, he didn't play last year, so he's got a, he had a good day, but that's we'll see. Right off, Tim? Yeah, Urban, uh, you know, the new rules that came about about preseason practices and stuff, restrictions on when you can you know, do two a days, every other day, and stuff like that. How, how has that changed just the way you get a football team ready? Uh, I think it's great rules. You know, I, when I first came out, I, you start panicking. And, I, you know, now that you – I can't imagine having 30 practices in the spring and then every day two a days. You know, I give the stories back when we were in college. It was every day two a days. So, no, I think they're great rules. Um, we've done, you know, over the last 12 years, you always measure – your training camp on your first four games. That's what I do, and I always go back and evaluate. But also now the concussion issue and the player safety. So we've we've adapted our practices. And uh, other than that, I think it's all good, though. I mean, I don't see a panic about all the, the new uh, conversation. It's not legislation yet, but conversation about only two contact practices per week, sure. et cetera. I, don't, I think those are all good. You know, we don't – most teams don't. So I don't. I, I have not seen anything come across my desk that did you like. Like that's not. You can't get a team ready. Does that fall in line with what y'all are kind of doing there? Yeah. I mean the two. The two. And the, I don't think I've seen anything come across our desk that we don't do already. Yeah. Thanks, man. Front row, Austin. Yeah. When you have maybe some off-season conversations with Braxton, do you get any sense that he is concerned or interested in, in what his legacy would be, what he could accomplish this year, to leave behind? I think we will. We never have. You know, I think um, the th one thing he's missing is a championship. You know, he went 12-0, and 0, but he needs a championship. And I, I think every great player is measured by championships, whether it be NFL, NBA, college football. And so we haven't had that 
conversation yet. But uh, at, at the right time, probably. He, he knows. You don't have to have a lot of conversation with him about that. So, but even, and you wouldn't mention just championships for this fall with him? Or in those oh, I, I, I will. I mean, I just I want him healthy. And, and uh, he's a very intelligent guy that he gets it. So at some point, yeah. I don't. You know, once again, I think those are all great things, but will that make him work a little harder? He's working pretty, you know, if I have to, I'll use it. But once again, he's probably not working real hard to begin with if we have to use that. Second row middle, both Urban and Braxton, 100%. 100%. We, uh, the, the volume we're just being aware of. He wasn't as sharp today, just throwing, you know, just a little bit. When he got tired, started raising his left shoulder a little bit, but uh, he'll be fine. And the attitude's tremendous, best shape of his life. Everybody looks good without the pads on, but just from a body type standpoint, yeah, I think Mickey's done a great job. Um, yeah, I don't want to start because then I might get a phone call. Why didn't my? No, they, they, it was a good-looking team. The, the left guard on offense, that's the one. I'm about to say, where's all the focus to me is that left guard. What are we going to do with the left guard, left guard, left guard? I see a good defense line. I see a good group of backers where some young guys are going to play. I see long safeties that are corners that were moved inside. I see we're faster on the perimeter than we've been. Um, I like our tailbacks and left guard. Who are the candidates here? Uh, Tony Underwood, Joel Hill, uh, Chase Ferris, Billy Price. Uh, probably not a guard, but maybe you know, you know him and Jacoby right now work in the center, along with Billy. Far left, Dave. Coach, can you talk about this? We got a we got a, we got a nice little uh, group back there today when I was out there watching them. I mean, it was you remember our first year? I think we opened in the, the first kickoff returner in our era was uh, Armani, and it wasn't because he was the he was kind of didn't have a whole lot of options. When that's when Jordan got hurt, Jordan Hall. So uh, Don, our first punt return, I imagine, would be Dontre Wilson. But you got you got Corey Smith, you got Jalen Marshall, you got Marshawn Lattimore. You got some really talented guys. Gary O'Connor wasn't out there today. Sick. He got a he got a uh, flu-like symptoms, but we're trying to get him ready back for tomorrow. Uh, front row left, Doug. Urban with like Rayquan McMillan and Johnny Dixon were out there with the older guys this afternoon. Is that just what they showed you in the spring? spring? Yeah. What does that What does that say when you have freshmen who? Come in well, it's rare. It's that? rare that uh, we do that, and they also made Champions Club. And I don't know if we've ever really had freshmen make champion club on purpose, but they're just guys that over 3.0 students take care of their business. They act like pros, act like grown men, so we let them practice with a grown man today. And look like Cam Burroughs was out there with Tyvis. At safety. safety. Is, is Vaughn all the way back after his yeah. spring? Or? Oh, yeah. Yeah, he had a really good day. Is that a battle between Cam and Vaughn for the other safety spot? Uh, all three. That's a three-man race right now. At, and the, all three of them think they're going to play, and you throw Eric Smith chopping at the bit too. You, you just got to keep them healthy. And then one of them, will, uh, well, Armani will probably be the nickel. So yeah, that's a good battle right there. And last question, uh, far right, Clay. Was that uh, Major Applewhite you introduced? Yeah, yeah, I, I really like Major. I've known him for a long time when he was on Coach Brown's staff at Texas, and he's up here just visiting, spending the day with us. And I just, he's a good, good guy that I, I like bouncing things off of. Of course, Coach Meyer always giving it to you straight in his intense way. Don't forget to join Mike Miller and I next Monday the 11th as we'll have a full half-hour Buckeye Insider special to get you ready for the upcoming Ohio State football season. Until then, I'm Mark Coons on WOSN.